are so excited to have over 1,400 people joining us this week and next week in Montreat for Pam's Worship and Music Conference. Um, this conference takes about three years to plan. We have about 40 faculty members and we feel that they are experts um, all across the worship spectrum from children's Bible to adult choir to organ playing to liturgical arts. There's a theme that guides us through the week, and that theme is Thirst No More. Uh, and that comes from John 4 and the story of the woman at the well. The theme was born out of, you know, the height of the pandemic and feeling very tired and thinking, 2023, 20, we probably really are going to feel the need for refreshment. You'll hear children's choirs and youth choirs and adult choirs all day long, along with instrumental ensembles. Um, this is a great place to be. You can stand just about anywhere on this campus and hear um, a joyful noise. The Presbyterian Association of Musicians has been gathering, have been gathering here at Montreat since 1970 when we were formed. There is something about the marriage of Montreat Conference Center and PAM that makes this event so special. For you know, generations people have gathered here at Montreat. That was also sort of the um, the inspiration for picking the John Four story to sort of center us. Uh, the woman at the well talks about how that well has been a centering place for people for many generations. It's Jacob's well. Um, and f for lots of people, this Montreat is Jacob's well. It's really about getting together and forming a community through acts of worship. Uh, it's the very first thing we do at the conference. What is so exciting that people look forward to every year is that first collective note that everyone sings in worship. We've got about a thousand people who are together and, and that note that people sing um, lets us know that we're here together to worship God. Yeah.